Welcome to the channel today. You know it's your friend, Joe Jaguar, city astronomer, your best friend in astronomy. Today's topic, after 29 years in astronomy and telescopes and two and a half years of YouTube, I think I have to quit. Here's why. Okay guys, you know when you find out something after so many years that rocks the core to the bone, you know it's something's wrong. What am I talking about? We have been lied to this whole time, okay? Now, let me tell you what I mean. Let's start with the sun. They say the sun is a million times the volume of the earth. Yet, I look out there, it doesn't look any bigger. In fact, when there's the lunar eclipse, it looks the same size as the moon. What the hell is going on? Okay, Mercury. Let's take a look at this picture here. They say, this looks pretty funny to me, you know? Mercury looks pretty suspicious. Look at it very closely. Doesn't it look like the backside of the moon? I think somebody's trying to pull a fast one on us. Okay, fine. You still don't believe? Let's go to the next. Okay, Venus. They say that Venus is inside us, like in, but what do you mean? When I'm looking at a telescope, I'm looking away, out from the Earth. I'm looking outside. I'm not looking inside. So how can Venus be on the inside of us or the inside of orbit? Does not make any sense. Come on, like we're not stupid, right? I'm pointing my telescope and I'm looking towards the sky, not in the sky. So what the hell is going on there? Again, they say the moon is a quarter. How can it be shining that bright if it's the size of a quarter? Come on, and how does it eclipse the sun? This makes absolutely no sense. Okay, now we come to the planet Mars. What can we say about it? It's red. Yes, I've seen it as red. And they say it's half the size of Earth. And it used to have water on it. And who knows? Maybe, maybe they're fooling around with us as well. Okay, let's get to Jupiter. You know, they say it's a ball of gas. Well, it's a ball of gas. How am I seeing it? You know what I mean? How do we see when we look at it? It looks pretty solid to me. I don't think there's any gas there. I think they're totally screwing around with us. Where's the gas? Look at this picture. Here's another proof. If you guys really want proof, here's another one. They say, okay, Jupiter's a thousand times bigger than Earth. Saturn's about 750 times bigger than Earth. Look at this moon. Look at this picture. It clearly shows the moon and Saturn, yet look look at the scale saturn mean i think the government just doesn't want us to to know the truth you can clearly see saturn is like a thousand times smaller than the moon okay fine you still don't believe what i'm trying to say listen they're playing a joke on us right the next planet why would they call it okay we're getting to Uranus. Why would they call it a human body part? You know, I think that the government came up with this idea and is like, let's tell these astronomers that, you know, we're gonna call this planet Uranus and we're just gonna play a joke and we're gonna see how long. These supposed to be smart people, scientists. We're gonna just mess with their head for like thousands of years to see when they're gonna actually come around and say, why did they name this planet after a body part? It doesn't make any sense. They're laughing at us every time we say the, 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 the name. Come on, guys, you gotta agree with that. What about this picture here, okay? Now you can clearly see the galaxy and it's saying we are here. If we are there, who's taking the picture? How are they taking the picture if we're there? Who's over there? Who's on the other side taking this picture? This is false. And this has to be the biggest controversy of all that I found out, okay? Why is it that the light pollution is over all the major towns and cities? 
like literally all over the world. It's like the government said, listen, this is where the universities are. This is where the high schools and where everybody's learning. These are where the scientists are studying. This is where the lawyers and doctors are, the judges, the juries, you know, the teachers, the professors, everybody that's smart, PhD, they're in the cities. So they don't want us to look up, right? Because they know the people that are in the cities are gonna be the ones that are educated and the ones that are gonna have the telescopes. Because haven't you ever thought of that? Doesn't it seem like most people who are into astronomy are living in and around the city where they can't look up. It's light polluted. They can't look through that fog. So it's like they purposely put the light pollution around the, the cities so we can't look up and prove everything that I'm talking about. So they, they make it in the country, no light pollution, where there's nobody there. So no, it's like no one has a telescope in the country to look up. So no one could say that, you know, they're trying to blindside us. It's just funny. You know, I just thought of that, you know, have you guys thought of that too? I'm sure. It's always the big cities that are light polluted where we're in this hobby and we're trying to look out to the universe and prove some theories and stuff, but we can't because somehow the light pollution is there. And then we're in the country where there's no pollution or where there's no people is where there's no pollution. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm out. And I think you guys should join me. Let's just drop everything. Just drop it. Drop it. Let's just get out of here. Come with me. Let's boycott this. We got to prove our theory, okay? Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you're not on the channel, hit that button. It does not cost anything. I swear, okay? And anybody on the forums, share my links with them. If uh, you know anybody getting into the hobby, share the link. Why not you? Why not me? Cheers.